Hello, let's do a quick unboxing. My fairy loot box just arrived. This is a March box. This arrived like 10 minutes ago. It feels very light. Interesting. The spoiler card is right on top, which is good. I have been like digging through the box the past few times. Okay, so our theme for March is eternal. So our first item is ceramic plate designed by Blanca.design. The plate's design is inspired by the amazing book covers created by Michaela Alkaina Design for the fairy editions of Winter Night Tril Trilogy by Catherine Arden. So I, I love the Winter Night Trilogy but I'm a fan of the covers for the special editions of it. The fairy loot so I didn't get to buy it but I love the trilogy. Ooh, I love it. I love how simple it is. Like, no character is just abstract like art inspired by the book. I love that. Next one, metal bookmark designed by at monolime art the bookmark depicts wrath from the kingdom of the wicked by karen menace kalko another book i have not read but i do have it yeah i have the complete trilogy but i have not read it i actually have i believe all three of them are like special editions or like exclusive editions so here we are i do like metal bookmarks i don't really use them because for some reason i'm like okay i'm, I'm gonna save them and i only ever really use my like, like my simplest <laughs> once but i probably should right but they're more decorative in a way too so i'm not really too worried you know next one bookish sticker sheet designed by no one designs create a dreamy aesthetic on your reading journals water bottles lap laptops and more with these enchanting vinyl stickers so this is fandom neutral i love the colors a blue gray dark ish color i don't really put stickers on my laptops on my water bottles not even my reading journals i just keep it simple but these are cute stickers yeah if i ever start doing that i'll definitely use some of these so that's pretty next one tara pouch designed by a quirky club collective the embroidered pouch is perfect for safeguarding your Fairloose monthly tarot cards or even serve as a TBR pouch. Okay. Oh, I really like that. I do really like Quirky Cup Collective designs. Like I had mentioned in my last video, my last unboxing, I have a book sleeve from her. A, oh, actually, I have it right here. There we go. This is from a box as well. And I have a journal, a notebook, and I think two bookmarks. So I really love her her style. It's very, um, what do you call it? What would you call it? With like the moon and the stars. I forgot a term. I know the term, but I forgot it. But yeah, like the sky, the universe type deal. So I really like that. It's a nice size and I love the feel of it, like velvet. Tarot cards of the month. The tarot card features Elspeth as a three of stars card and Raven as a four of stars card. The characters are from One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig and were illustrated by the amazing at Zara Mirza underscore art. So it's interesting that they've been making, I don't know if that's a recent thing or they've done it before and I just didn't realize it, that they're doing more recent featured books as part of their tarot cards. So we have two characters right here. Mm, I like the art. <laughs> Is it me or does he look kind of like Adam Driver? He kind of looks like Adam Driver. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> okay, next one. Our last one, a featured book of the month is Seven Faceless Saints by M.K. Lobb. It's a gripping murder mystery set in a dark fantasy world where a killer is being haunted. An evil power threatens to devour everything and two characters are forced to confront their pasts. Your Fairy Loot exclusive edition has an exclusive cover, digital sprayed edges on all three edges, artwork on the end papers by at Diana D. Warak, foil on the hardcover by at Blanca dot design and is signed by the author don't forget to read the author letter and check out the character print on reverse side by at diana t warak okay. hey oh it's a smaller hardback that's why it's light and everything else is like light too so hmm. <laughs> dude the character art and author letter are bigger in dimension compared to the book we have our character art and our author letter and then we have our book it's so light and tiny <laughs> Okay, so we have Seven, Seven Faceless Saints by MK Lob. Ooh, we have like the cover art on the edge. I see. I love the whole like old Grecian Roman type building that is like crumbling. With the statue doing that as well. And it's crying tears of blood. Looks like tears of blood. Ooh, I love the naked hard cover as well. It's white and red foiled. Red foiling. We have our end papers. 
pretty art, different end papers. All right, let's see our fairy scoop. So we have an author interview. And then next month's theme is Dare to Dream. Although the path to progress is rarely easy or straightforward, it's often the journey, not just the destination that shapes us. This box is inspired by characters who persevere in the face of challenges, who refuse to give up until they've made their world a better place. In this box, you can expect items inspired by Violet Maid of Thorns, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, and our next collectible foil bookmarks, featuring artwork by Edgar Ju Art. I really like the foil bookmarks. Our feature book of the month is inspired by Arthurian legend and follows two rivals who are forced to work together on a deadly quest. It's full of dark secrets, love, and revenge. This very little exclusive edition will have an exclusive cover, a digital sprayed edge, artwork on the end papers by Alay Katz, Alley Katz, art on the hardcover by the same artist, and will be signed by the author. And will also come with a letter from the author. Okay, my favorite item? Mm, I don't know. Probably the pouch because I really like the art on it. I'm probably not gonna use it. <laughs> well, I should, right? I have a lot of tarot cards at this point, so yeah, I'm gonna probably definitely use that one. And most useful is definitely the plate, but I don't want to use it in a way as well, so I don't know. But yeah, that's it for this month's box. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you on my next one.